Hi everyone! So today I am going to be doing a CCO or Cosmetic Company Outlet um, haul. I went to San Francisco like two days ago, um, which by the way I have a vlog coming up for that. So that will be on my Pink Cupcake Diaries channel, which is my um, vlog channel. Um, we got some really nice footage of what we did with my friend Megan throughout the day. Um, and there will be also an outfit of the day um, on this channel coming up. Um, but I think I'm going to upload this one first um, because I did like two other outfit of the days before. I don't know what's been with me in doing outfit of the days. I um, just been really liking the kind of outfits that I've been pairing. Um, so this video is going to be, as I mentioned earlier, um, a CCO haul, which is basically, I know I say this in every CCO um, haul video, but for those of you that don't know what a CCO is, it's basically a huge like makeup store. They sell hair stuff, makeup stuff, skincare things from a lot of different brands such as MAC, Bobbi Brown, Clinique, Estee Lauder. Um, at discounted prices. It's either things that have um, been discontinued or from previous collections um, or things that they just have um, overstock in. Uh, so I love hitting that up in San Francisco. Um, I found four things that I wanted to share with you guys today so I will go ahead and just jump into everything. So the first thing is something that I got while I was um, there last time and I haven't been to the CCO um, in about six months um, so that's how long this product had lasted me because I ran out of it um, but I knew that I was gonna be going to that CCO again and I was hoping that they would have it and they did have it um, it is the Clinique even better dark uh, clinical dark spot corrector um, it just looks like this it's in just this white um, little like um, tube thing um, and it's basically a serum which is supposed to reduce um, any like scarring or any dark spots that you may have on your skin from either um, like discoloration or blemishes um, and this lasts me a really really long time I love the consistency it's very um, it's not greasy but it's sort of like a gel like formula and I put it on after I have put on my moisturizer um, in the morning and at night and I think that that really helped me with just evening out my complexion and making everything sort of one um, unison color. The next thing I was so excited to see at the CCO because this has been released um, from MAC uh, two times before. Uh, the first time it was released I wasn't really that into makeup um, and the second time I just just, I don't know why I just missed out on it, I guess. Um, it is a very popular product for MAC. It is a mineralized skin finish, um, and the shade that I was able to find was in Redhead. And if you guys don't know what these are, these are basically like highlight powders. Uh, they can come in any like creamy uh, whitish color or um, they sometimes have a, like a slight pink tint to it. Uh, so this is what this one looks like in Redhead. It has just uh, sort of like five, I guess, different tones, but they're all in the same color family in this really nice, um, like, peachy pink color. And I'll show you guys a swatch of everything just mixed in together. It's a beautiful, kind of just like dusty pink, kind of champagne-like color. Um, and I don't know why I never picked this up. I think this was a really popular, um, popular seller. Uh, so I think it might have been sold out by the time that I wanted to get my hands on it. Um, but I'm so happy that, that I got this. I think it's going to be a beautiful uh, just highlight for the top of the cheekbones. Uh, my friend Megan also got this. Um, so I was really happy that we were both able to get it. The next thing that I got is also from MAC. All of the things are from MAC besides the Clinique product that I talked about first. Um, I got an eyeshadow. And I normally really don't like getting eyeshadows at the CCO because they come in the little pots. Um, and I only um, I only have palettes, and I think it's just really unpractical to have to carry little pots of eyeshadows. Um, but I saw this color, and it's nothing like it's not like any other color that I have in any of my palettes. Um, so I thought, what the heck? I'll just go ahead and depot it. And I have a lot of other eyeshadows that I think I'm just gonna depot just for practicality, and so I can start using them uh, a lot more than when they're just in these little pots. Um, so this is in the shade Hush, and it's a frost eyeshadow. It, it's coming off on camera like very sort of white, um, but it's a very soft sort of duochrome pink with some kind of like purple in it. Um, I'll show you guys a swatch so you can see what I'm talking about. It's just a very, very light, frosty, like beigey pink. 
Um, and it has a, like I said before, like kind of a pinkish purple duochrome to it. Um, I think this is going to be a beautiful highlight, um, as well as maybe like an um, all over the lid color mixed in with some browns. Um, so I cannot wait to start using this one. The next thing that I got is a blush from MAC. And again, I really don't like buying blushes at the CCO also because they come in the blush pots. And those are like the same story as, um, I mean... It's the same thing as with the eyeshadows. They're just really unpractical to carry around with you. Um, so I will be depotting this. Um, so this is the blush. It's a matte blush. And I don't have any matte blushes. Um, this is in the shade Raisin. And the color, I know it looks so scary, like brownish with like a red tint to it. Um, but I don't know why. I was just so drawn to this. And I asked my friend Megan if she thought that this would look good on my skin tone with just a very light hand, just um, just like a soft wash of color. Um, and she said that she thought it would look nice, and I think it will look nice too, just um, just for a little bit um, a little bit of color. But I'll show you guys a swatch of it. It looks just brown actually when you swatch it with just a slight um, like a burnt red type of finish to it. Um, but I think this is going to be really nice. Just like I said, just a light hand of it. I don't want to end up looking like a clown. So the last thing that I got, um, I know this has been kind of a quick haul video because I only got five things. Um, but the last thing that I got is a MAC brush. And they actually had a lot of different MAC brushes, but I have way too many brushes. I don't need any more. Um, but I didn't have a lip brush. And I asked the girl there if they had any lip brushes. And she handed me this. And when I got home and I, I wanted to check out reviews on this brush, this is actually a lip liner brush, which I don't think I will ever use a lip liner brush just because uh, lip liners already come in pencil like for uh, sh uh, like format. Um, but nevertheless, this is the MAC 312. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is a MAC 312. It's just a very, very small um, lip brush. I'm going to try and use it as a lip brush with my really dark colored lipsticks that I think is much better to apply them with a brush than just straight from the tube. You're able to get a lot more precise and get into like the, uh, the, the corners a lot better. Um, so we'll see how this works out. If anything, I think this will just end up being a really nice uh, gel eyeliner brush. So those were all of the things that I got. Um, it's always very exciting to go to the CCO and see what kind of um, like discontinued or limited edition things they have there. And I'm really happy with everything that I got. I cannot wait to start wearing the Redhead Mineralize Skin Finish. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. And don't forget to stay tuned for those two videos that I filmed in San Francisco. They will be coming up within the next two or three days. Um, one will be, like I said before, on my vlog channel. And the other one will be on this channel. It will be an outfit of the day. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.